welcome to the BS Show, episode number 417. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and we have some news today. I mean, last week we didn't have any, so this is a big change. So anyway, uh, let's not dilly-dally and let's just hop right into it. So, first news is, My Little Pony comic finally gets release date, Transformers crossover and issue number 89. So, a while back, uh, the My Little Pony comic was delayed due to the global pandemic. And some of the delays involve uh, the Transformers crossover and the season 10 comics. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the plan date was around March for the Transformer comic. And the idea for the Transformer comic was to uh, publish or to pump out a issue each week. So that's really cool. But for the, uh, what you want to call this, um, mainline season 10 comics, uh, that one was planned around April or May, um, if I'm not mistaken. But due to the pandemic, everything is put on hold. Uh, IDW did that because to help alleviate some of the pressures for Diamond comic distribution. And they also uh, hold new release for their digital store, um, uh, what you call this, Comixology and so on. So now we have a release date, so that's awesome. So the My Little Pony crossover Transformers comic will release on July 22nd and issue number 2 will be released on August 12th. So that's good. And for the mainline comic, I think that's starting with issue, sorry, season 10, uh, that will be on August 12th, the same date as the second issue of the Transformers crossover. Uh, for the Friendship is Magic Volume 19, I think that's the Heart People Back, um, compilation book where they just gather everything and if you are a buyer or a reader who likes to do that, well, um, issue 19 is coming out for you guys pretty soon. So that's awesome. Other than that, um, com- we get more comics to read. So that's, a, that's always awesome. So let's move on to the next news. And next news is two episodes of Pony Life possibly reveal the best of the worst and Princess Probs. June 13, air date. So, let's see. Um, a- according to... Uh, hmm, this is interesting. I-, I I haven't read this one yet. I, I kind of skipped it. Who's the writer? Sylvester, all right. Uh, I'm just going to read what he wrote. When Googling Pony Life, you are now treated to listings of two new episodes of the show with a June 13 air date. Apparently, it's not dead. When it's airing, uh, sorry, where it's airing is still a mystery. Discovery Family was originally the place, but their highlights haven't even hinted at any pony life coming up. So we don't exactly know yet. I'm still informed we'll be released soon though. Also keep in mind, Something, sorry, sometimes Google's, ran, <laughs> Google's random episode information isn't entirely accurate. And we, uh, sorry, uh, so we are sticking with a possibility here. Update Zap to it has 11 a.m. Discovery Family airing, so keep an eye on that. So, 11 a.m. airing. Um, if I'm not mistaken, that's the same time that the previous Pony episodes were airing. So this is interesting. This is interesting. So, uh, I, okay, I'm not going to read the synopsis. I, I guess you guys can already read it at the bottom there if you pause the video and go read. But um, we get two new episodes coming out, so that's interesting. And... hmm. Since the pandemic came about, uh, the My Little Pony 
Twitter, sorry, um, I'm guessing Twitter, but I'm not 100% sure. But Instagram and also Facebook page has been uploading or sharing stories on their uh, websites. And most of them are pretty interesting. Like the one where Twilight is working out. Uh, the one where Pinkie Pie is uh, sitting still and focusing her zen. Or the one where Rainbow Dash is just binge eating chips and whatnot. So the sorry, um, Hasbro or the My Little Pony brand has been slowly pushing out content for ponies. And it's interesting that they're doing it this way. They're slowly acclimating or they're slowly making people get used to the idea of how new ponies are supposed to look like. If you suddenly watch Pony Life out of the blue, you are going to get shocked by how this the new design looks like. But slowly, sorry, but them slowly pushing out content this way makes us get used to the idea and used to how they look. But one thing we got no idea is how they sound like or how they're going to act. Uh, obviously, they're using the same voice actors as before, so that's good. But the other thing, we got no idea how the new Pony Life personality are going to be. Uh, from what we can tell, they're exaggerated from their original counterparts. Y you can clearly see it here. Like, Rainbow Dash has a smirk. And that's representing cockiness and uh, overconfidence, which is kind of Rainbow Dash just straight before. But we got no idea how her Pony Life counterpart is going to be. So that's one thing that's interesting to wait and see. Other than that, I just have to wait and see. It's going to be interesting. And it's part of Gen 4. And I, <laughs> and this could be the fear of Gen 4.5. <laughs> like what they did with the uh, third Gen Ponies. Uh, the, if I'm not mistaken, they're called the Cutie Mark Baby. Something like that. Like, I, I'm not an expert. I got no idea. But overall, um, we'll wait and see. Uh, season one to nine were good. This one, let's just hope that the creative team did an excellent job. And boy, if you are new to ponies and you're watching this as your jumping stone or stepping stone, ugh, high recommendation for me to you is go watch some of the earlier episodes those are much better but anyway that's the news for this week so let's move on to the next topic and next topic is what have i been doing with my week so in all honesty i haven't really done much in terms of productivity obviously i did some editing and uh, house chores and whatnot but in terms of the bigger picture, nah, nothing much. Just the normal stuff. But I did bought something which is really interesting. You guys should see. <clears throat> I bought myself a Magic the Gathering uh, box thingy. And what this is, is, is really interesting. Um, how, how do I break it down? It's technically um, five decks of magic. But the other thing is that this is considered a board game instead of a trading card game because of what it is. Uh, technically, it is a joke deck where you have silly things like, uh, let's see. Um, oh boy, this is so zoom out. I cannot see. My eyes are not that good anymore. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, like I said, it is really interesting, really fun, and I do enjoy this one. I, I can't wait to crack it open and play it out. Uh, another thing on the plate for me is that uh, I might start another podcast. Uh, but don't worry, this is this podcast is not going to interfere with the MBS show for you MBS show fans. 
Uh, this is mostly to help a friend of mine, uh, a local game shop to promote their shop and also promote their product. So we're not 100% sure what the YouTube channel is going to be called and what the focus is. So technically, the focus is going to be on Magic the Gathering and whatever the shop owner wants me to do with a few friends. So uh, I hope you guys will subscribe to that one if you do enjoy some of the things I do enjoy. Uh, once it's up and about, I'll give a link to the show or the channel for you guys to subscribe. But other than that, um, nothing much. Still same, still done nothing. Uh, having been forced to sit at home, not being forced, it is highly recommended to stay at home in this time of troubles. But, uh, but how to put this? <laughs> Uh, but the thing is, um, you guys should probably stay at home if you don't need to head out. And if you do go buy something, go curbside pickup or delivery. So be safe, guys. Be safe. Because by us being safe at home, there's a possibility that we can fight this pandemic and curb stomp it. Yay. So anyway, um, I'm just going to wrap it up. So... If you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themissionsgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is an NBS show, and my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. You can also, uh, sorry, uh, also please just can read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date, and Stitch Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on pointlive.com. Links are in the show notes. Also, do subscribe to the Review in Discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, and also Totera reviewing the Pony Comics episodes and specials. Uh, well, uh, Pony episodes are kind of done. And I think if we're talking about episodes, probably the... Uh, Pony Life. What was this one called? Yeah, Pony Life. The Pony Life thing would be next on the plate if we're going to do episodes. And if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast exclusive and deleted content and a huge thank you from me. Talking about the thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight. Tristan and also Master of Lag. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll get you, and I'll catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the Show. See ya.